Welcome back to our fifth uh, C Sharp tutorial. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to deal with these last five lines and we're going to cover a bit more in detail what a placeholder is and how it's used. Now, some of this can be a bit complicated because if you've done, um, I don't know, high school maths, you're always, you, you would think it differently and even if you're just counting on the street and all that you would count with one, two, three, four, five. But what we've got to learn here is that computers start from the number zero. So essentially zero zero is equal to one and one is equal to two and so on. But we're just gonna focus on the fact that zero is where it starts. We're not gonna deal with numbers. We're going to start with zero, well actually we're obviously going to deal with zero and numbers, but we're only going to be thinking of zero as the first, one is the second, and again this is computer terms, so it's a little annoying and hard at times, but we always need to remember that we start with zero in a computer, and then proceed to one, or negative one, depends on really what you doing, but in this case we're starting at zero. Actually, forget that negative one, I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking then, but it was wrong, don't worry about negative one. So, as you can see with this uh, right line, what we've gotten is we've gotten two placeholders, and we've got two local variables. These are strings, but they're still called local variables. And the placeholders in it are asking for a position. So again, position zero, just think of it as position one and position one's, yeah, so, so this is why I'm trying to avoid using numbers. But position zero, think of it, it always comes first. So once we've, once the computer's read out this line and it's gone through slowly, started typing all this stuff in and it reaches the placeholder, it basically stops and then it ignores the rest of this and goes outside of the string that we're, that it's been writing and it looks for the first local variable and it's picked up I'll name and it then dumps it right where this zero should be, well, right, right where the zero in brackets are. And then it's back to the string and it writes out the comma and then the space and then it picks up another placeholder and it's this placeholder's position is one. So when we then it exits, it looks at the first placeholder which it knows to be zero and it moves on from there and then it starts with the second placeholder which it knows as one again I'm getting a bit jumbled up with the number terms and then it dumps whatever's in this f name variable right here now as you can see we can change it up oh, as you can see down here we can change the placeholders around so we don't have to call zero first we can call one first we can call seven first if we had seven and we can also call zero or any lower number last but <coughs> ideally if you're doing programming and all you do kind of want to keep it all in order but you can do it the other way well um, I don't know what I did then I must have dragged it down um, now you can call placeholders more than one time as you can see with this last little line here, in which case we're calling the first name twice. Now, what I need to you to understand, and this is probably the most important thing that anyone will ever tell you in programming, is that computers are morons. They can do amazing things, but only with a human brain controlling them. 
and th that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach you how to control a computer. I'm trying to teach you how to program. The second that you, well, I'm teaching you how to program, but what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to understand what a, how a computer thinks and how to manipulate that to get it to do what you want. That's how I see it anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. This was all we're going to cover with placeholders at the moment. In the future, we'll come back to this. But as for now, it's just good luck and I'll see you guys next time.